Suppose you received in the mail one offer to get this new credit card and the credit card promises you a 14, 24% APR. Uh, most credit cards have a daily compounding and you are wondering what would be the effective annual interest rate if I were to compare different offers uh, because you may get a loan, a personal loan through a bank and you want to see which one is cheaper. In general, the advice is not to carry debt on a credit card, but because you start paying uh, interest, if you have um, a, any any balance uh, that you haven't paid, you the minute you make the new purchase, it starts uh, charging interest from that day as well. So the advice is always to pay the credit card in ba balance in full. But suppose you want to know what's my effective rate. This is the APR which usually is, da is uh, with daily interest compounding. Therefore, the faster the, for the compounding frequency, the higher the future value will be. So with the BA2 plus calculator, if we want to compare different um, uh, interest rates, and we call this interest rate equivalence. So we press a second and then we go to number two. Here we will enter the nominal rate, which is the quoted rate. In this case is 14.24%. So we will put enter. And then we will go up here. And this is how often is the interest rate compounding per year. In this case, we assume it's a daily. So 365 days in a year, we press enter, go up. And this is the rate we are in Interesting. We are looking for the effective annual rate or the effective the EAR. Uh, we press compute and we get that in reality I'm being charged. We are being charged 15.3 percent, even though the quote rate is 1424. By law, they are required to quote the APR, which is another way of saying my effective annual rate. If this were with annual compounding, I'm paying 15.3 percent, even though the quote rate is much lower.